from their speculative behavior. So they had to separate these two. But yeah. then that was all under Clinton, Bill Clinton. You know, he got rid of Glass-Steagall. And the banks have gone back into this uh, framework of using your deposits as their risk capital. And whenever they make a bad loan, they get bailed out by the state. Uh, so we saw this in the savings and loan crisis. We saw this in the subprime crisis. It's just banks gaming the system, banking, gaming. Now, Martin Wolf, he's an establishment player. So it's interesting yeah. that he would make the suggestion that the Swiss banking system should embrace this, a non-fractional reserve, a wholly backed reserve banking. I mean, if you apply that to the banks in the UK, Lloyd's, HSBC, Barclays, and Royal Bank of Scotland. RBS, yeah. Right, they would all have to be technically declare insolvency because they have no assets. Yeah, I mean, you've actually been on stage here in Ireland with Martin Wolf, and he wasn't this radical back then, but he's also suggesting that uh, citizens should be allowed to put their own deposits at the central bank, just like banks can, and that's how they're able to just spend money because they're able to borrow from the central bank at 0% and then lend to you at like 10, well, 15%. Uh, uh, Martin Wolf, why is he making this converging? Convergence. Why is he coming to Damascus? Why is he coming to the Holy Land? Well, if Be you're at the he, financial... I'll tell you, yeah. because he's being pressured by Bitcoin. Yes. He understands well, we're the gonna nature get... of Bitcoin. <laughs> well, we're going to get to that in a second, but I want to finish up on this Martin Wolf story because the fact is when, when banks are lending money and creating money, in the UK, I know for a fact that 85% of all their loans are against mortgages, against properties. So think about the destabilization in our Western economies in America, San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, New York, all the homeless problem, Portland, Seattle. It's all lend, it's on property bubbles backed by these banks lending money against that. And of course, with the, as it, it's, it's they generate more and more and more and more profit for themselves because they can, can they could basically created a Ponzi scheme against which they're guaranteed to make money, but it, it's causing destabilization across, you know, the, all these cities in America and, and, and in Europe. Right. The, the property is used as collateral. So they bring up a great point. And once again, I'm very happy to share content from Max Kaiser. Um, it's kind of a joke how profitable banking has become. And a lot of these prices have been inflated because of banking. And one thing they don't mention is also student loans because school used to be much much cheaper but just like real estate the prices have been able to be inflated because they were able to create easy credit and create a, 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 the most dangerous loan the most I mean a loan that shouldn't even be considered a loan which is a student loan because you're not allowed to bankrupt out of it so the idea that they charge 7 10 12 percent interest but you're not even able to default out of it. That's not even a loan. That's that's indentured servitude or slavery or modern slavery, whatever you want to call it. But that's the biggest problem that we have with our current banking system is um, they are able to basically keep all the profits. And then when they do get themselves in trouble, they use public funds to bail them out. And um, there's not much we can do about it for now because they have a lot of political influence and power. But... Like I said, I do believe with cryptocurrencies, they're going to have to be less corrupt about it and probably more efficient. I don't think cryptos will just solve the problem. But at the same time, if people start to realize how bad and how crazy our banking system is, uh, it might create some pressure where they're willing to make some sort of changes to be more reasonable. But let me know your thoughts about this and what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon.